Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to turn off iMessage on your Mac, MacBook Pro, or MacBook Air. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing we want to do is open up our Messages app on our Mac. So just open it up. It should look like this where you see the contacts that you've messaged on the left and the conversation that it's lit up with on the right. Now this process should work on any Mac that has at least somewhat of a newer version of Mac OS installed. I have a 2012 MacBook Pro, it's the same way, so it should work for pretty much everyone. But if it doesn't, just let me know in the comments. I'll try to work it out with you. But for us here, let's start by clicking on messages at the top left of the Mac and then you want to click on preferences and from here we can see our apple id as well as the phone number and emails that are connected with this imessage account so if we want to turn this off all we have to do is go over to the sign out button click on it you'll be prompted pretty much to confirm it is also letting you know that if you sign out you will no longer receive imessages that's specific to this Mac or whatever Mac you are signing out. You'll still be able to receive iMessages through your other devices that are still connected with iMessage. So your iPhones, iPads, other Mac devices, just this one we're going to sign out. And as soon as we do that, you can see we're brought to the sign in page here for iMessage. So you'll no longer receive any more messages through iMessage on your Mac as long as you're signed out right here. If you wanna sign back in, it's as simple as signing back into your Apple ID in the iMessages application on the Mac and you'll be good to go. As always, there's a full playlist in the description that you can check out with many more Mac, MacBook Pro and MacBook Air tips, tricks and tutorials. So if you're interested in learning more, definitely check that out. If this video was helpful for you, click that like button, subscribe and click the bell notification box so you're notified when I post those new videos. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. I'll do my best to help you out. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.